Let's try some of these doors. <laughs> As if to mock you, the banshee appears again in your fevered imaginings. You stagger about for a moment before you master the pain. This is becoming critical. If you don't find an antidote soon, you will be history. I feel like it's saying I only have like one more, one or two more things with the banshee. <laughs> I haven't found anything. combination of secreted materials, metal and iron tubing, a faint inner glow, and a slow, almost imperceptible pulse makes it look like a beating heart. A series of chairs are lined up providing easy viewing of the center of the chamber. I think they all say that. Are these like stairways I can go through? No. Alright, uh, we got these grates on the ground. We observe a slimy substance glistening on the grate that secures this cage. Uh, that looks like blood. Good. Into the floor of this room, this small grate secures this cage. Something large and orange that lies inside of it. Orange. Oh. The opening looks to be closed. Who would have thunk that? Is that something... Yeah, cast a spell on it? Okay, wait, I just want to use I got for everything. Oh wait, entrance? No, because I'm not entrance. Eh, whatever. And go along with it. The attempt to put the entrust spell in the opening is a failure. Here's the need to power up like the rest of the castle. So I guess I have to find uh, another spell. But why would I put the entrust spell? I thought I was using it. Um, yeah, we take everything. Lots of empty bottles. We'll take this candle, too. Oh, we took the candle. Alright. Uh, it seems to be everything that we can take. Oh, it opened. Why did I toss it across the floor? Is this a, another pumpkin? What the hell's up with all these pumpkins? I'm not getting the pumpkin thing. Again with you. Well, that's what I did. <laughs> Goblin don't learn very well, does he? This library must contain thousands of ancient tomes, books, and manuscripts. A thick coating of dust covers everything. Pages are blank. Not very useful. 
Although you struggle with the poor penmanship you read on, I am honored to have been selected by Fandral to document the workings of the circle. The newest initiate is a young man with an inquisitive nature. He has taken the name of Lachmere and intends to study the origins of time, although his mastery is yet to be chosen. The High One mentioned that Lachmere is not from this line and thus cannot be groomed to become head of the circle. Rather, the new initiate was chosen from an unorthodox scrying performed by Tylomir. Do not trust that one. He has ambition and a hunger that does not sit well with the member of the circle. See? I mean, even other people know that Lachmere is the bad guy. Oh, why did I hit open? Oh, let's uh, look for mechanisms. Oh! Wasn't expecting that. Step closer to the books on these shelves. A series of shelves are cluttered with books of varying shapes, sizes, and colors. The accumulated knowledge in this place must be truly staggering. Yeah, we're missing a spot here. Oh, an embossed etching of the kitten. They all look the same. All have illustrations of cats with random, encouraging, yet trite sayings spelled out beneath. What the parrot saw by Morton Fidley. Exploration of Thaumaturgy by Herodic Surf. Is every single one of these books something different? The Gate Piper by Della Manuels. Historia Regum Britannia. Chronicles of the Twelve by Historian Lothworth. Wow, I mean, I, I kind of want to show you guys a lot, or as much as I could while it's available, but to read every single one of these books would be like an episode and a half. I don't know, I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, that, and chances are, it's not going to change what's written in these books from any of the uh, playthroughs that you guys might want to choose to do on your own. Like, I'm doing uh, Journeyman, but if you guys wanted to actually get this game, I mean, you could play it on Apprentice or Master, and everything would technically be somewhat different for you, you know, because how the puzzles are handled will be a little bit different. Not all the puzzles, but, you know, a good majority of them. So, you know, it still would require you to be able to think a bit on your own, even if you watched me play this. If, if there's an important book, I'm going to show you that, but I'm probably going to edit all this book reading without further ado. I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> Pick a spot towards the top of the page and begin reading. Wise beyond his years, Herschel gathers his boon companions, Altaha and young Triton from the curious village to begin their search for the golden apple. Even though their way is blocked by a diabolical puzzle designed to spell their doom, Herschel counsels every puzzle has an answer. Herschel! That's my skull! With the glasses! See? That's Herschel. Herschel, is that you? <laughs> so Herschel was killed by the dragon. <laughs> he didn't last too long. Which one was I at? Herschel and the never ending puzzle. I wonder if Shadow Gate was the never-ending puzzle. Oh, important for Immortals by Gabble. 
Ah, this is one of the wizards. You pick a spot on the page and begin reading. For the immortals, these beings of power and purpose care not for humankind. Their fragile countenance only good as fodder for the deception and machinations of the Eternals. Thus it is decreed that they shall be put low. They shall spend their time behind the barrier, guarded against the day they wreak havoc on the world once again. Uh, I wonder if that's what uh, Black Mirror and Talima trying to get underneath the castle. I'm surprised. Oh, I'm getting dark. Oh, I'm getting dark! Intrigued by the name, you begin a passage from the middle of the book. Are the fires of hell's a-glowing? Is the grizzly reaper mowing? Yes, the danger must be. <laughs> oh, that's awesome! For the rowers keep on rowing and they are certainly not showing any signs that they are slowing. <laughs> oh, that was funny. What was that one? That wasn't that one, it was this one? Yeah, The Sailor's Way by Hasawakno. I wonder if that's a real book now! Oh, if it is, I'm gonna put it down in the friggin... I'm gonna put it down there. That's so funny! Willy! I didn't know you were teaching me old proverbs! Not you, Bibbles. Legend by Brown Tom. You pick up the story in the middle of the page. Jack coaxed the unicorn forward from its concealment, trusting that Princess Lily would stay true to her word, that she would only observe the magical creature from afar. However, Lily, in a moment of weakness, stepped forth from the shadows and strolled toward the majestic beast. Just then, Blix leaped from the brush and fired a deadly dart into the unicorn. <laughs> now, it'd be a shame if you guys didn't know what that was from. <laughs> Read the tiny prints on the spine of this book, Senescence by Mortis Pallor. I don't know, I'm actually, I'm enjoying reading these, it's kind of funny. I don't know what I'm gonna come across. Cuthagar, in Spiritus and Elementus. Cuthagar was one of the wizards. The faded lettering on the page proves a little difficult to read. Spirit and corporeal form can be controlled by a practitioner of the art. Most common of these familiars come from the elemental world. These servants, once mastered, will remain loyal even after death. They are primarily benign if left alone, seldom portraying aggressive behavior if handled with respect, and are creatures of habit, often returning to places they are acquainted with. Ah, oh, so that's why our ice elemental keeps coming back? But what about our water elemental? Do we even we use the water elemental? Yeah, so I wonder if he's bad, because we didn't kill him. That's interesting. An Oral History of the Northern Clans by Dansworth Yorn. Yorn. Yorn! Oh, the book comes out a few inches before stopping with a loud click. Okay. What's this thing? We got a symbol. It is pulled out from the shelf a bit. Yeah, it's got a symbol on it. Oh, so I guess we did have to, like, go through all these books. A three-circled rune adorns the cover of this book, followed by the name Chiris Hildor. You read the words in the yellowed parchment, and in the third age there shall be full a great portent. The sky shall bear witness to Majal's tale, the great worm. And all shall know the hour is at hand, the hero shall come from the first line, and remake that which was hidden, and the evil shall know fear. Well, we have that scroll somewhere. 
We start reading from a random place on the page, with the most striking visual on the summer solstice as viewed from Merith South. The six peaks of the Red Mountains that compromise darkened range in the foreground are three mountains of the blue-tinged Dragonfell. Immediately behind that, next comes the single white summit of Gatekeeper, while the spire of Agdor's Black Peak lies beyond that. This view is known collectively as the Jagged Rainbow. It's got a lot of detail, this world. I don't know where I'm at. What did I just look at? History of the Monarchs, 1020 to 1710 by Historian Mulfrith. Oh, he was uh, another one of our wizards. You skim down the page and begin reading, known as the Mad King Dubin Al Olaf was murdered by the steward of Stormhaven after the revolt of the Bolsheks. King Dugan was cursed by the high sorceress Mirdal to forever crave gold and jewels even after death. Appearing as a white, the dead king is said to kill those whom he deems thieves of his relics. I knew Dugan. He certainly was mad. Damn, Yorick, you're fucking old. Artisans and craftsmen, metallurgy through the ages. Your imagination takes over you as you read the story. Commissioned by the first circle to assemble a talisman of great power, Wylan took the elder magics and fused it with the carvings on the stave, finishing it with a root said to have come from the one tree in the one wood. The orb was imbued with old arts which com to command the spirit and elements. Together, these three were forged as one, yet were commissioned to be separable parts, as they would only respond to one with the lineage from the first. Oh, okay. So I think that has to deal with one of the scrolls we had also. Experiments in Social Machinations. <laughs> I think uh, reading these books are gonna kill me. I didn't think that it was gonna friggin... I thought that had to deal with like rooms I was walking into or something. You rub your eyes as the words blur while you read the page. Observed in a commune in the east where all population is given access to treatment from the town shaman. Upon entrance to the commune, all those admitted donate their wealth and belongings to the community, which in turn is divvied out to all inhabitants regardless of class. This proved to be a disaster. An intense wave of pain explodes from your abdomen to distorts your vision. Falling to your knees, you retch uncontrollably. Specks of blood staining the ground, you are definitely in trouble, and if an antidote is not found soon, this may very well spell the end. Your adventures. Damn, I don't know what to do. I feel like I'm gonna friggin' die before, like, I just got in the damn castle. What is a mama to do? The banshee's gonna kill her. We'll save. I'll save over. I guess this cavern lake. Yeah, cause I, I, I really think I'm about to die. History of Magics, 1521 by Lothroth. Yeah, going through this bookshelf is killing me. The initiation performed in the great circle nearest the entrance to the caves. Those present were solemn, knowing that what was foretold and what they faced. Fandril the High oversaw the conjuration and pronounced the blessings on the newly inducted Lagmere, christening him the Timeless. With this spell came the mark that would bequeath authority and dominion of all the circle's great artifacts and workings. Yeah, and then Lakmir released Talamar the Black, and then together they friggin' went and, like, destroyed everything. Thal the Third. 
You read the famous play starring at Act 1. Now is the summer of contentment, made somber winter by this moon of thaw. And all the suns that smile upon our house, in the shallow surface of the sands uncovered, now our feet free from defeats. Garland our healthy legs freed for memorials, our happy greetings changed to wistful departures. This one always took himself too seriously. York says with a grunt. Oh, who the hell was that? Thal? Damn, York. First circle. Piqued my interest, huh? We start reading from a list on the open page, and those included Kathagor the First, Master of the Elements, Hildur the Second, Seer of Vision, Valgris the Third, Mistress of the Air, Akarina the Fourth, Lady of the Lakes, Talamir the Fifth, Master of Shadows, Shalray the Sixth, Sorceress of Illusions, Eldiel the Seventh, High Priestess. Thorup the Eighth, the First Thaumaturge. Raise Fire the Ninth, Mistress of Animals. Pharaoh Tolf the Tenth, Summoner. Tim the Eleventh, Tim. Because, you know, we, we all gotta have a Tim. The Enchanter. What manner of man are you that can summon up fire without flint or tinder? I am an enchanter. By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim? Greetings, Tim the Enchanter. Greetings, King Arthur. You know my name? I do. You seek the Holy Grail! That is our quest. You know much that is hidden, though, Tim. Quite. Uh, so, uh, anything that you could do to, uh, to help would be... very... helpful. Look! Can you tell us what it is? Oh. Oh. Fine. Um, I don't want to waste any more of your time, but uh, I don't suppose you could uh, tell us where we might find a, um, find a, uh, a, um, a, uh... A what? A a a a a a a a a a grail? Yes, I think so. Yes. 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 Yeah. 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 That, yeah. That, that, that. yes. Yes! Oh, oh. Thank you. Oh, 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look, um, you're a busy man. Uh, yes, I can help you find the Holy Grail. Oh, thank you. Oh, to the you. north oh, there lies a cave, the cave of Caer Banog, wherein, carved in mystic runes upon the very living rock, the last words of Ulfin Bedwyr of Regent. Make plain the last resting place of the most holy grail. Where could we find this cave, O Tim? Follow! But follow only 
if ye be men of valor. For the entrance to this cave is guarded by a creature so foul, so cruel, that no man yet has fought with it and lived. Death awaits you all with nasty, big, pointy teeth. Behold the cave of Carpano. Right. Keep me covered. What with? Just keep me covered. Too late. There is. Where? There. What, behind the rabbit? It is the rabbit. You silly sod. What? You got us all worked up. Well, that's no ordinary rabbit. Oh. That's the most foul, cruel, and bad-tempered rodent you ever set eyes on. You tit. I saw my arm and I was so scared. Look, that rabbit's got a vicious street a mile wide. It's a killer. Get stuck. It'll do you a treat, mate. Oh, you yeah? manky Scots git. I'm warning you. What's he do? Nibble your bum? He's got huge, sharp... He can leap about. Look at the bones. Go on, boys. Chop his head off. Right, silly little beater. One rabbit suit coming right up. Look. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I warned you. I've done it again. I warned you, but did you listen to me? Oh, no, you knew it all, didn't you? Oh, it's just a harmless little bunny, isn't it? Well, it's always the same. I always oh, tell them. Up. Do they listen to me? Hey. Oh, no. Shut up! How many did we lose? Gawain, Hector, and Bors, that's five. Three, sir. Three. Shod, the twelfth necromancer. I guess he's the reason why you're alive, huh, York? You have nothing to say about that? Potions and remedies by Portia. Fuck you, Banshee! Dire circumstances. You take a pinch formed yeast, a sweet sugar, and an extract of mint to create a tonic that cures the ills of doldrums. Powdered skull of rodentia, a brackish base, and a bitter root shell. I was hoping you'd tell me how to cure the fucking banshee curse. Oh, I think I just died. Fuck you, banshee. <laughs> Ah, driving you to your knees, you gasp for breath as your throat constricts and darkness closes in. Finally, you fold the ground, twitching, consumed by the ghost of the banshee. What a pity that you have failed in your grand quest. What a pity, Lackmere, that you're so fucking useless. I don't know. I mean, I guess while I'm here, I'm just gonna continue reading the books. You know, till like, the Banshee keeps killing me. At that particular point, hopefully one of these books might tell me how to cure the Banshee curse? I don't know. Hi guys, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, Hit like, hit subscribe, and get notifications for God's sakes! That's all I have to say. And my music's over. I think we're at a Shadowgate Metal music. I think I've been reusing the same shit over and over again.